Coronary artery obstruction occurs predominantly by the accumulation of fat and calcium deposits. This ultimately results in the obstruction of blood flow, making it challenging for blood to pass through easily, leading to a condition called myocardial infarction, commonly known as a heart attack. When the coronary arteries become blocked or narrowed, the heart will receive less blood, resulting in reduced nourishment of the heart muscle. This can cause chest tightness. The symptom is influenced by chronic conditions such as high blood cholesterol, diabetes, high blood pressure, or smoking habits. It's important to be aware of these risk factors and take necessary measures to maintain heart health. Because these negative behaviors have the potential to stimulate the blood vessels of the heart and impact cardiovascular health. The symptom of chest tightness varies and fluctuate. Some individuals experience an onset of symptoms with a high level of congestion resulting in significant chest tightness. However, others may only experience a slight pinch initially, which gradually accumulates to a more prominent sensation. The severity of symptoms can range from minimal to resembling a small lump. When it reaches a certain point where the muscle begins to lose more blood, that is when the symptoms appear. Therefore, if we often experience pain or feel distressed in our lives with these symptoms, it is recommended to first undergo a health checkup. The initial investigation involves an electrocardiogram, which may indicate a condition of ischemic heart muscle. Aside from that, there are also additional tests, such as blood tests. Certain lab results may indicate potential heart muscle problems. Then if the diagnosis is confirmed, we can proceed with the treatment, if the disease is not severe, the treatment involves medication and cardiac catheterization or stent with angioplasty. If the patient has a severe blockage, blocked in multiple arteries and multiple positions, then it has to be surgically treated. The gold standard method of treatment that has been done for years is called coronary artery bypass. The surgery is done by stopping the heartbeat temporarily, but don't be alarmed that stopping the heart could be a problem we stop the heartbeat to allow blood transfusion into a bypass machine, which serves as a substitute for the heart-lung machine, which is used while the heart is not beating. The temporary cessation of heart activity is necessary for the procedure because when we do a bypass surgery, we have to attach the bypass grafts to the heart. If the heart is still beating or moving, it is difficult to attach. There is another way performing this surgery called off-pump coronary bypass surgery. It is done while the heart is still beating, or without stopping the heart. The advantage of this technique is that we can avoid the use of heart-lung machine or the artificial machine for the heart. Studies show that heart-lung machine can trigger various inflammation. Certain substances can enter the bloodstream. If a patient is not fit enough or not strong enough, or if they are elderly in certain instances, they may experience a slower recovery. However, if the doctor is skilled, the duration of the surgery may be shorter and the length of recovery time in the hospital may be decreased as well as the rate of blood loss. Also, it can additionally decrease the likelihood of kidney failure or stroke. If you experience these symptoms that are causing distress, like a sensation of tightness, as though something heavy is exerting pressure, intense chest pain radiating to the jaw or back, or sharp piercing pain, be mindful of the possibility of a blocked coronary artery it's recommended to consult your doctor in that case. Leave us a comment below if you have any questions and please hit the subscribe button to stay updated with our healthcare videos.